I need to make some heavy gauge cables for my solar setup out at the cabin and I couldn't find the lugs I needed for my 3 aught cable at the box door so I decided to make my own using some copper pipe. Just grab a little mark and cut it off with a hacksaw. I'm going to take and uh, smooth it out a little bit, flatten the surface. And I'm going to deburr it with a screwdriver. Or a knife or something. So, found a couple of sockets that fit just perfectly in there. This one's a little looser, but the first one that I did turned out halfway decent. But I almost didn't get this socket out, so I'm going to go to the deep well, which is a little bit, a little, little more play in there. I'm about ready to put it in there. I went ahead and threw some tape on there, just so I don't have to think about it. Just slide it in there. I don't have to worry about it falling in any further. Basically, we're ready to make a lug and get it in there lined up. This is one of those, um, I don't know what it's called, one of those things that you use normally to spread the copper out. I'm going to try and use it to uh, help me crimp the lug, the game plan. I went ahead and soldered that, I figure it can't really hurt. Alright, so that is uh, completed the cable, so I went ahead and soldered them on after crimping them on. Um, just briefly go over the game plan here, <clears throat> and this will all be detailed out in later videos. Um, the feeder cables will connect from my inverter to my battery bank. Um, to charge the batteries, everything will be going through the charge controller and I'll be able to decide whether I'm using the solar panels or my charger and generator with this toggle switch. I'll go into greater detail with this later. Thanks for watching and uh, be looking for my next video.